Howdy. In this video, we're going to go ahead and discuss the direct comparison test. Now, what I want you all to do is uh, pause this video real quick, jot this down, that way we can talk about it, and then we'll hit a couple of problems. Okay, so uh, let's talk about when and how to do the direct comparison test. First off, when. When you're going to do the limit compare or direct comparison test is whenever it's almost a limit comparison, meaning that you have mostly polynomials, um, but I can't quite do limit comparison because this sign is kind of in the way of a trig function, or whenever you have exponentials or something like that, okay? In this case, you need to directly compare this to a p-series. Now, what you're going to have to do is choose your p-series wisely, once again, and you need to choose a p-series that you know for a fact is either bigger or smaller than your problem. And if the p-series you choose is smaller, then these are your two situations. I like to draw these squiggly lines. These don't have any inherent value, but it helps me visualize what's going on. If your smaller p-series diverges, that means it has an infinite sum. And if the sum of your problem is even bigger than infinity, uh, yeah, it's diverging. However, if your smaller p-series converges, and it, then we don't know, A and your problem could converge, it could diverge, the test fails. And then your other situation, of course, is if the series that you choose is bigger. If the bigger series that you choose diverges and goes to infinity, I have no clue what A and is doing. No idea whatsoever. However, if your bigger series converges, that means that it has a finite sum. It converges to some number. And so if the bigger series converges to a number, so must the smaller series. Okay, so let's run through a couple of problems so you can see what I mean by that. In this situation for number one, I'm going to choose... I'm choose to see. I have a sine squared over n times n plus 1. I'm going to go ahead and choose 1 over n squared. All right, because highest power on bottom there is an n squared. Now let's see, 1 is always going to be greater than or equal to sine squared, and also if you take a look at this, you're adding stuff on bottom. Technically this is n squared plus n, and whenever you add stuff on bottom it gets smaller, so regardless, I know for a fact 1 over n squared is definitely bigger than sine squared over n times n plus 1. And so what I do, so I'm just draw a couple squiggly lines. I know 1 over n squared is bigger than sine squared over n times n plus 1. But going back to the previous video, going back to p-series, we know for a fact that 1 over n squared converges. And because 1 over n squared converges and is bigger, this guy has to converge as well. So what you would say for number 1 is, number 1, this converges. This converges by the direct comparison test. Let's take a look at number two. So for number two, I have a one over two to the n plus n. Um, I don't know, let's go ahead and choose. Let's choose one over n. Choose one over n. Okay, now, uh, let's see, here on the left side, I'm adding stuff on bottom. So overall, it's smaller. So I know 1 over n is definitely bigger than 1 over 2 to the n plus n. So go ahead and draw my squigglies. Have 1 over n bigger than 1 over 2 to the n plus n. But I come across an issue. And the uh, issue, 1 over n diverges. 1 over n is an infinite sum. I have no clue what this is doing. In this situation, we chose poorly, and the test fails. So, we gotta do it again. And at least we get another shot. Okay, so with that being said, let's try it again. So one over two to the n plus n. Okay, I already chose one over n, so let's go ahead and choose, let's choose one over two to the n. You always want to try to make it as similar as possible. That way you can more easily see whether it's bigger or smaller. Now, once again, by the same logic, I'm adding stuff on bottom here on the left side. So I know for a fact 1 over 2 to the n is bigger 
then went over 2 to the n plus n. Let's draw our squigglies. Went over 2 to the n. And you don't have to do this. What I'm drawing right here is not necessary. It just gives me a visual representation. Okay. Well, 1 over 2 to the n, this converges. This converges by geometric series, remember? Geometric series may still come into play. Okay? Make sure you know it. The ratio, the r of this is less than 1. So we'll converge by geometric series. And so since it converges and is bigger, this sum must also converge. It must also be finite. And so what we would say for number 2 is number 2 will converge. Converge by the direct comparison test. So this is how direct comparison test works. Choose your BN wisely. Then, for me, I like to draw squiggly lines just to kind of better visualize what's going on. And then from there, determine whether it actually tells you anything or not about your AN. Just because you choose something doesn't mean it's going to copy it, unlike the limit comparison test. You need to actually make sure that it does tell you something about your series.